Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading, Aquarius. So, Aquarius, this is your reading for the month of April, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Aquarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. Aquarius, in this reading, we'll see what you need to know regarding the month of April. What is your energy for the month of April? And what uh, you need to know regarding your love life. Okay. So, Aquarius, uh, before proceeding, I would just like to uh, inform you that the, the winners for the giveaway contest has been announced. The list of the winners have been published in the community staff. The link for that uh, for that for the community tab has been given in the comment section. Make sure you refer the comment section, and if your name appears in the winners list, uh, make sure you send me your questions uh, on the stated Gmail ID. So thank you for the overwhelming response. I received a huge response. I literally lost the count of the number of entries, and. Uh, um, like initially I had decided that I'll do only 24 free personal readings but given the fact that there was such a huge response I decided to double the number so I'll be doing 48 free readings and if your name appears in the winners list congratulations to you already okay all right so let's get started now Aquarius I'll shuffle the cards I'll lay them down and then we'll see what are the energies so we have nine of wands and then we have the high priestess and then we have king of cups and we have king of swords so who nine of cups lovers uh, and then ooh, we have the star Aquarius, you might be dealing with another Aquarius, with Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn. I heard Capricorn. We don't have a pentacle card over here, but I heard Capricorn. You might be dealing with... Pisces as well. So Aquarius, uh, number two is of some importance. You might be seeing a lot of 222, 333, uh, 999, 777, 717. So what do you need to know for the month of April? Nine of Wands, High Priestess, King of, uh, King of Cups and King of Swords. Hmm. First of all, Aquarius, if you are interested in someone and if you are feeling like this person is not reciprocating your interest, then that's not the case. They do like you. In fact, they like you more than you like them. But at the moment, their mind is preoccupied with a couple of other things. There are certain things, there are certain issues that they are facing in their personal life. Maybe someone is sick in their family or they are trying to resolve a certain ongoing issue maybe they are trying to take care of their finances or something the mind is highly preoccupied by something and that is that is not related to love or romance okay uh, so if you're feeling like they are not reciprocating that is not the case they do like you in fact they love you a lot and they will reciprocate or respond at the right time okay so Apart from that, your intuition is trying to talk to you, Aquarius. I'm just wondering what your intuition is trying to talk to you. Your intuition is trying to tell you something. Okay, let me pull out some additional cards. I want a clarification card for High Priestess. Spirit, give me a clarification card for High Priestess. We have Ace of Cups and then we have 
the tower your intuition probably is trying to tell you about a situation that did not work out in the past a romantic situation that did not work out in the past okay Okay, first of all, I'm getting that universe is trying to tell you do not fear anything. Do not fear any kind of a change. Do not forget who you are. You're meant to rise up in this life, in this lifetime. And somehow I feel that the level of confidence that you want in your life, that level of confidence is missing or it is slightly low. And it is low because of multiple reasons. With nine of wands, I kind of feel like either you have reduced your socialization to a large extent, you're an isolated soul, and you have become comfortable in that isolation phase. Okay? And uh, all of a sudden, if you are required to attend a social event, you kind of fumble, you don't know, or maybe your confidence is, is very low. So you sort of feel, I don't know how I am going to manage that situation. I don't know how I'm going to be there. Uh, how will I look? How I'm going to talk? What I'm going to say? So especially I feel like when in matters of conversations, you are kind of feeling low. Okay. In matters, matters which involves uh, uh, interacting with other people, you kind of feel less confidence over there okay so even in such cases when you are interested in someone somehow i feel like you are not able to articulate in an appropriate manner what you want to say or what you want to what you are thinking okay so your inner voice is trying to tell you that don't forget who you are do not allow fears to control you okay with nine of wands uh it's like it's time for you to rather shine stand up stand out in the crowd okay and uh, have that required courage and confidence to fight for what is right and fight for what is yours so something if this is not you are experiencing right now then you have to do something so that your confidence increases your your courage increases your if you're feeling, if you fear interaction with someone or, or if you fear uh, socialization, push yourself to do that so that you will improve on those skills. Okay. Because you are going through a phase, you, have, uh, you should be in an energy right now where you should be feeling confident, you should be feeling uh, courageous and bold in your life. And if you are not feeling like that, then you have to take the corrective steps immediately. Okay, and that is what your inner voice is trying to tell you. Your inner voice is also trying to tell you about some a, a love situation that did not work out on the in the past, and maybe your inner voice is trying to tell you about this love situation because you may have to deal with this person all over again. It kind of looks that someone from the past is coming back, or you felt very strong emotions uh, towards this person and uh, they also felt strong emotions and you took an initiative you interact like you expressed yourself but your love was not reciprocated okay or something this this situation did not work out in the past it it got broken down even before it started maybe that person is trying to come back in your life okay and it might happen all of a sudden don't get confused don't fear the situation because you will have to say what you need to say. And I feel like you will have to... Uh, universe is kind of indicating that face the situation with tremendous confidence. You don't have to feel the fear regarding anything or regarding anyone. I don't know why I'm, I'm getting this energy uh, Aquarius. It's kind of... Uh, it's a very different energy. I never felt such kind of an energy before. Where you are coming across as nervous or underconfident or... So even if anyone from the past comes back, face that situation with confidence, okay? If you have taken some action like walking away from someone and if that person tries to come back, you don't have to fear them, okay? You walked away for a reason. Uh, 
with the king of cups i'm also feeling like there is a need of self love over here there is a lack of self love that is going on you need to show love to yourself you also have to act in a protective energy you cannot keep on pleasing anyone and everyone okay you have to be in that protective and defensive energy where you have to be sure like who is allowed to be a part of my life and who cannot be a part of my life and if you know that if someone cannot be a part of your life you have to be courageous enough to stop that person from entering in your life you have to be courageous enough to not to entertain them okay so there is a lack of self love over here so month of april is kind of asking you to show that self love towards yourself high priestess is also trying to tell you that some amazing situations are about to happen so be gear gear yourself up for those situations show that self love towards yourself increase uh, your confidence by showing self love to yourself okay the way you treat to yourself others should be treating you that in a similar manner If you are treating yourself as a king or a queen, other people should also treat you like a king or a queen. I mean, it happens. If you are treating yourself like a shit, people will also end up treating you like S H I T. So the month of April is kind of encouraging you to show that uh, self love to yourself, okay? And do not fear another messages. Do not fear any situation. whether it is love related situation whether it is related to any any other situation so some of you i feel like you will kind of meet prominent personalities in the society i don't know why i'm getting this you might meet some celebrities you might be a part of event where you will meet celebrities you might meet some uh, elite people of the society or some important people who will have a very strong presence who will have a very strong personality and have a very strong presence in the in the in the room you don't have to fear the presence you don't have to fear the personality you know sometimes the the presence itself is so uh overbearing on the other person that sometimes uh, people lose confidence when they see someone really extraordinary or someone in the spotlight okay <laughs> it's a very surprising and funny energy although Uh, so the bottom line message over here is show some self love and work on your confidence work on your uh, uh, on your courage you have to make some bold moves and even if someone from the past comes back you don't have to fear in any damn situation whether it is romantic situation whether it is work related situation you don't have to fear um uh, any such situations increase socialization stop isolating yourself over isolation also kind of leads to such problems where unnecessary fear and insecurities uh, you know grip your mind so if you have isolated yourself for a very long time stop that as far as your love life is concerned nine of cups the lovers and the star okay so definitely a wish fulfillment is happening you are going to meet someone who is going to be just like you possibly another aquarius okay and whoever is coming towards you is the love of your life so do not fear the situation aquarius do not fear the situation i feel like something amazing is about to happen as far as your love life is concerned i can see you guys falling in love okay i can see you guys falling deeply and madly in love with someone and someone will also be deeply and madly in love with you i see a strong bond being formed between you and someone okay so you should be enjoying this moment so rather than holding yourself back with fear and insecurities build up that confidence and that courage so that you can enjoy whatever is coming towards you or whoever is coming towards you all right take care of yourself and have a great time ahead